This video describes Visicon's checking operations. Operations are configurable algorithms used to carry out automated model checking functions. Visicon V1 includes commonly used model verification options. Our goal is to identify and implement an increasing number of domain-specific operations with each new release. Operations check models for a specific condition and create an issue for each instance the condition is met. Operation types include filter-based, clash test, find duplicates, clearance check, Boolean difference, and variance check. Filter-based operations create an issue for each component selected by a filter. Use them to easily assign component-based tasks. The example on the right is configured to identify a specific type of connector plate that requires additional weld inspection. Note that the assigned filter is set to select plates with tecla quantity dot height equal to 351.5 millimeters and tecla quantity dot length equal to 365.5 millimeters. Running the operation identifies four plates that meet the filter's requirement and creates an issue for each case. Each issue is associated with its affected component in the model, making it easy to locate where action is needed. The clash test operation is used to identify constructability issues where two components are designed to be installed in the same space. The clash test operation can be set up to check clashes within a single set of inputs or a dual set. An example of a single set could be checking of rebar against itself. A dual input set could be checking beams against pipes, like the operation that is configured in the screenshot. This slide shows a list of issues created after running a clash test between beams and pipes. The affected components in each case are clearly described in each issue. The find duplicates operation can be used as a quality control measure by locating duplicate components in your model. This screen shows a list of duplicate bolts found in our industrial plant BIM example. The issues clear themselves out if the duplicate components have been deleted and the operation is rerun. The clearance check operation is used to isolate components that don't meet a specific minimum clearance requirement. The operation can be configured to check clearance in any direction. Similar to the clash check, this operation can also be configured to work off of a single or dual input set. In this example, the clearance check operation is set for a single filter source. The assigned filter is configured to only select horizontal beams with a height of at least 300 millimeters. We checked for the horizontal condition by limiting the slope to zero. We are now looking at issues created by the clearance check operation. The selected operation shows two beams that did not pass the two meter vertical clearance requirement. The 3D Boolean difference operation is a powerful tool that gives precise feedback on geometric changes between two model versions. It is configured to check the components or model in input set A versus those in input set B. This screen shows a simple model where the added and removed sections between two models are color-coded and assigned to issues for tracking and resolution. This operation catches subtle model changes, saving guesswork and improving overall project workflow. Notice how easy it is to detect a rotated column. The variance check operation is used to identify specific quantity or model parameter changes between models and creates an issue for each variance. The variance operation always works off of two input sets, A and B. It can be configured to check for quantity or variable changes. When configuring a quantity variance type check, you have to select which cost driver to compare between models. Cost drivers include volume, length, surface area, etc. The example on the screen is configured to check the volume change between models. We're looking at a list of issues created for volume quantity variance. The components associated with each variance are linked to issues. The quantity variance for the selected structural beam is clearly shown to be an increase of 3.328 cubic meters of concrete. The variable variance operation lets you check if any selected project parameter has changed between two versions of a model. Visicon exposes all project parameters making it possible to drill down into any nuanced change between model versions. The project browser lists all parameters found in a project. See the image on the right. When configuring a variable variance type check, you have to select which variable to check against. In this example, the operation is configured to find variances in the top level dot name parameter. This is a parameter used in Revit models to assign components to levels. 
This screen shows an example of an issue showing a variance in the top level variable of a column. The variable changed from level 10 to level 9. Any variance data is listed in the associated issues. In summary, operations automate most common model checking requirements. Identified conditions are assigned to an issue for an easy tracking and resolution. Affected components are assigned unique colors and readily visible in your models. We are in touch with our clients and continually evaluating which additional checking operations should be implemented for the next release of Visicon. Please feel free to contact us with your model checking requirements. Thank you for watching our video. Contact sales at visicon.com or sales at adaptsoft.com to request your free intro version.